ranking the best outside linebackers in college football. And boys, we are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the outside linebacker position. Before we get into today's video, I do wanna talk about our sponsor real quick, MMOEXP.com. If you guys want an alternative to buying packs, consider buying coins at MMOEXP and make sure to use code DILLA checkout for 5% off your order. Now, right before we do go ahead and get into the new cards right here, I wanna take a look at the old tier list. Now, with the old tier list right here, we also did get a Chandler Martin upgrade. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at him first. But besides that, I really just feel like outside linebacker did get a little bit better. And I do think there is a new S tier of outside linebacker today. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop down everyone a singular tier. And I still love the cards that are now gonna be in the A tier. I just kind of feel like it is a little bit past their time, man. Just ever so slightly. So yeah, this is what the tier list is looking like before we get into the new cards. And like I said, we do have Chandler Martin first up right here. And this card could potentially be up to a 91 overall. Now, is it smart for him to be the 91? Well, this is a card that has 88 speed, 91 acceleration. So crazy good physical stats. He, he, of course, is an edge rusher. Great finesse moves. I mean, 93, that is top end in the game. The power moves are the weakness. The run defense really isn't the best either. Like a little bit lower block shed. Also not a coverage player, straight up pass rusher. And if we look at his traits, right? What's really nice about this card is the fact that he only has the spin in the swim move trait on yes. Think of the bull rush move as power moves. Think of spin and swim as finesse moves. So what this means right here is bull rush on no. He's not going to use that 69 power move running. He's only going to use 93 finesse moves, which actually makes this card a lot better, right? So essentially in your mind, just block out that power move rating. Really the one weakness of the card is 78 block shed. Now, is this an S tier caliber player? I can definitely see the debate. I think he's better than everyone in A given his physical stats and finesse moves. I feel like this is kind of a little bit underrated card at the 91 overall. So I'm going to slightly put him S, but I could see the argument for him being A because of the fact that he does have lower block shed. And now after that, every card we cover is brand new. So the first one we got is Bam Martin Scott right here. Now this is a card that is six foot two, 227 from South Carolina, 82 speed, 84 acceleration. What you're gonna notice a lot of times is linebackers do get statted with a little bit lower change of direction. And I think change of direction really matters for the coverage side of things. Obviously this card is a pass rusher, 86 power moves, 78 finesse moves. So lower finesse moves and the run defense really isn't great. He does have 70 zones, so can kind of drop into a zone. I'm looking to at least hit 80 for that to be one of your strengths. Now this is a card with no pass rush traits on yes. And I know what you're thinking. Does that mean like he's just not gonna use moves? Kind of, it's like these cards with no pass rush traits are on auto shed timers. That's kind of like determined by their core ratings, if that makes sense. Which leads to cards like Julius Peppers actually playing really well because he does have some of the higher like finesse moves and power moves, right? I hope that makes sense. And I think this card is not the worst in the world. I think Bam Martin Scott is either D or C. I'll go ahead and slightly place him in the C tier. Okay card in the game. We also get EJ Light C right here. And this is a card that is six foot two, 225, 82 speed, 86 XL. Again, lower change of direction. This time he has the pass coverage arc, which a lot of times mean he's not gonna have pass rush. So that's not his strength. His strength is coverage. He hits 83 zone coverage. And when we're talking about coverage players as well, pass rush traits, don't really care about that. Uh, we want play ball in air aggressive and potentially the big hitter trade on yes, I do like in that. I think EJ Lightsey, pretty similar to the previous card. I think he's okay. It's like 82 speed at this point. You gotta potentially keep up with what? Like 93 speed Rondale Moore now. I think D or C also for this card. He does hit 80 zone. So I'll slightly place him in the C tier. We also get Yanni Karloftis right right here from Purdue. And this card actually has a really nice balance of physical stats. I mean, 85 speed, 86 XL, 82 agility, 86 change direction. Like that balance right there is really, really nice. And he hits 80 for finesse moves, 80 for power moves, 80 for block shed, 84 impact blocking. And I believe with strategy cards in the game, you could potentially get him up to 80 zone or at least 80 man. So he's really a do it all linebacker, man. I actually really like this card, especially for his price as well. Going for around 20K can do a little bit of everything. He's not like the best pass rusher. He's not the, the best coverage player. They can do a little bit of everything, man. And for traits, no big hitter. Has only the swim move trait on yes, which means he's actually going to use 81 finesse moves and not 84 power moves. Kind of weird, but again, it's still in the 80s. I think that is pretty decent. For me, Karloftis, I think this is a step above the cards we covered so far. I will slightly place him in the B tier. I like the card. Maybe he's more in like a C plus type of range, but I think he's a very solid card in the game. We also get Wade from Clemson right here. And this is a card that is six foot three, 230, 85 speed, 88 acceleration. Again, not the worst agility and change direction either. So this card could move pretty well. Uh, not a pass rusher, of course. And this time really doesn't have great coverage stats. I feel like at this point, 
Wade just really doesn't do anything. And I believe on his previous card, right? I mean, he had 74 zone. He gets a plus four overall increase and then gets two zone coverage. Kind of weird, right? I'm not really a big fan of this card. I think he has physical stats, but really that's it. I'm going to go ahead and slightly just place him in the D tier. Um, yeah, I, I would rather use EJ Lightsey because of the 80 zone, but he does have good physical stats, good height, but I don't really think he's that good of a card. We also get Sunday Styles right here from Ohio State. Six foot four, so really good height on him. 235, 85 speed. 89 acceleration, 83 agility, 82 change direction. So again, nice balance of physical stats. He has 88 power moves with lower finesse moves. The block shed and impact blocking. The block shed is a little bit lower, but does have 80 zone as well. This time, no pass rush traits on yes. Play ball and error balance and no big hitter. I think this is a pretty solid do-it-all linebacker yet again. I think Sonny Styles. I'm going to go ahead and place him right by uh, Yanni Karloftis. I'm also going to have him in the B tier as well. I think he's, again, really solid. We also get Brian Thomas Jr. right here from South Carolina. He is 6'3", 245, 84 speed, 88 acceleration, really low change of direction, but this card is a speed rusher, so he has 89 finesse moves, 70 power moves. Block shit is a little bit lower. This time, no real man or zone, and he only has the swim move trade on yes, which actually makes this card a little bit better because of the fact that that he is not going to use his power move rating. Weakness of this card, of course, is the block shed rating not being the highest, but really good pass rusher in the game. I think Brian Thomas is also on this B tier level. I think Chandler Martin is like a lot better than Brian Thomas Jr., but this is a underrated card in my opinion. I could potentially see him in the A tier and I don't hate it. We also get Anthony Hill Jr. right here, and this card is six foot three, 245, 86 speed, 85 acceleration, 82 agility, 80 change direction. So again, nice balance physical stats. This time doesn't really offer you any pass rush though, and he does have 83 zone coverage so yeah i think anthony hill jr is another card that's a pretty solid pass coverage player i think he's a little bit better than ej lightsey so i'm also going to place him in this b tier b tier is going to be absolutely loaded today and now for the rest of the video we get 90 overalls the first one we got is wesley from the u and this card is probably my favorite outside linebacker in the game he is six foot one 205 88 speed 86 excel 87 agility 89 change of direction and this card can move that is one of the biggest compliments i can give a card if you can move that is a compliment. So really like Wesley because of that. Now he is not a pass rusher. The block shit isn't the greatest, but there's a card with the strategy item. You could get him up to 90 zone coverage, which I think is a major threshold in the game to hit. And I think Wesley is an easy addition to this S tier as well. Different style of Chan uh, from Chandler Martin, of course. This is a pass coverage linebacker compared to a pass rusher with Chandler Martin. And right after that, we get Isaiah Glasker right here. Now this is a card... I'm going to be honest with y'all. I am not as high on, but he is six foot five, 230. So he is a tall player in the game. The height is crazy. He's 88 speed, 90 acceleration. I think the reason why I didn't like him, I user this card, the 77 change of direction I thought was really noticeable. Like he could not move side to side. I thought Wesley would play more things, even though he's shorter, even though he doesn't have the best excel because of his change of direction. Now this card is not a pass rusher. He has 89 zone. Like I said, with Wesley, man, this is a card that could get up to 90 zone coverage. I think that's a major threshold in the game to hit. I am still going to place Isaiah Glasker in this S tier as well because he can hit 90 zone. I think he's more of an AI coverage player than he is a user. And that's why I like Wesley more. I think Wesley moves better than Glasker, but Glasker, you can say, plays an AI zone better. And right to that, we get Clay Matt. Matthews right here and Clay Matthews is six foot three, 255, 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 85 agility, 85 change direction. So great balance of physical stats, 88 power moves. The finesse moves are lower, but great block shed. And he has 80 man. He has 80 zone. He has no pass rush traits on yes though. And I feel like Clay Matthews direct comparison is actually uh, Colin Oliver. Now why I say that is I feel like they do a little bit of everything. Now, Clay Matthews washes him on physical stats, but honestly, like, I mean, Oliver still has the 85 zone on him. And I could see a world where they're on the same level. I'm going to slightly place Clay, Clay Matthews in the S tier because I think he just slightly does what Colin Oliver does just better. Even though he doesn't hit the same amount of zone, I feel like the physical stats on Clay Matthews or what makes him better than Colin Oliver. And I think they're, again, they're pretty similar. Uh, Clay Matthews is gonna slightly make S for me. And ending off the video right here, we got Jalen Walker from Georgia. And this card is six foot two, 245, 90 speed, 93 acceleration. Now the agility and change direction aren't as crazy as the speed and excel, but given the speed and excel with like decent change direction and agility, you could user this card, but 
He has 93 power moves, 77 finesse moves is a little bit lower, 86 block shed and not really a coverage player and has no pass rush traits on yes. So I think Jalen Walker, he is just like insane because of this right here. And I think because of that, Jalen Walker is still gonna make my S tier. Even though again, man, like the finesse, he does have some weaknesses, which again, you could say like him and Chandler Martin aren't deserving of S tier. My favorite linebacker in the game is Wesley, but yeah, boys, this has been my updated thoughts on the outside linebacker position in college football ultimate team. Let me know your guys thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know what you agree with, what you disagree with. Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? Now, if you guys did enjoy this video though, you enjoy content like this, want to stay up to date with everything that's the best here in college football, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and see me use some of these cards live on stream, I've been streaming here on both YouTube and Twitch. To watch on YouTube, make sure to hit that noti bell as well. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here. Or if you guys want to watch on the Twitch, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch with a follow. But if you guys do want another video to watch, check out this one right here.